friend for the friend's birthday who wanted to turn his friend into a space marine samurai. Did you get all that? So we started with a Primaris intercessor body. We repositioned the legs and had to pin and base the feet so that the legs would stand in a proper position. He wanted a kind of a relaxed Ronin vibe. The real challenge of this was the inspiration art that the client provided was all unarmored um, Ronin style anime uh, art and he wanted to combine it with a fully armored space marine. So it was kind of like mixing oil and water but this is what we ended up with. I think it turned out all right. So we did some complex cloth over the legs we did cloth over just one shoulder and built out one sleeve. There's a video for how to do this complex cloth on the Patreon. So it was done all the way around the back. We did the green stuff armor as well. This is all green stuff. And then the resin bits here that you can see were actually produced by, these were done by, um, Puppets War. So this is their pauldron. These are their katanas. The arms, these are actually orc arms that were shaved down and re, uh, repurposed. I like uh, how that kind of turned out. Sort of has a Karn vibe with the bare arm. The hands were spliced onto the arms and then some wraps were applied. We just finished a tutorial on how to do wraps. The sword blades were a little bit shorter than the client wanted, so the problem was splicing in another sword blade onto the first sword blade and then making it so um, the line would be nice and smooth. So this was gap filled with some green stuff as well as some uh, acrylic. The hand here was rebuilt. This is actually a right hand that was re, uh, repurposed, it was flipped upside down, the thumb was carved away and then rebuilt in green stuff. And then the uh, saya were flipped upwards, that's how I guess they're traditionally carried. The client wanted the miniature to have the face of his friend, who will be receiving this as a gift, so I did my best to re-sculpt a Katachan head with a likeness, and then I added some hair and a man bun, or samurai knot, as it were. The most difficult part was definitely um, splicing the sword blades and positioning of the extra swords. These are actually katana blades, but they are covered in fingernail polish to fill in all of the um, fuller, all of the gap there, and it makes it bulked out a bit. So these are actually swords that are just uh, had some filler added over the blades. There we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Okay. 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 